So hello everybody and happy new year! I am finally back! So in today's video we're actually going to do a parkour video. I'm going to show you how you can convert Unix time or epoch time into daytime in parkour and I'm going to show you how to do it in one step. And this how to do it in one step is something that you will be able to apply to a ton, a ton of other transformations. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what is this epoch Unix time? It's basically a way that some systems use to be able to count time. So the concept is actually very simple. If you Google it, you'll find it. It is, they start the time in 1970 or 101, and then they start counting the seconds forward, and that will be a plus, or the seconds um, minus, you know, if the Unix time is a negative number, it means that it's before 1970. If it is a positive number, it's after 1970s, and that, that's all. So to be able to count this in Power Query, we just need to do the calculation. We need to transform our date into seconds and then add if it is positive 1970. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it moving forward. So let's go to Power BI. I have here just some uh, Unix dates and what we are going to do is basically figure out how to do this thing. Okay, so first of all we are going to convert these into seconds. So we're going to do, I explain all of this in my M course, how to do, you know, change types and durations and timestamps and all that stuff. So go and check it out if you are interested, interested <laughs> duration. Okay, so days, hours, minutes, and then seconds is going to be our created date. And this should transform into seconds. It's not going to do it. I'll show you why. You can see here that this, this is the same like in Excel. If the everything is moved to the left, it means that it's text. If it's moved to the right or aligned to the right, it is numbers. So now it is text, even if you can actually see it is converted to text by itself. So we need to transform this to a number. So we're going to put number from. And now we have the seconds. So what we need to do now, this is the number of seconds after 1970. So we need to add 1970 to this. And again, I explained on the M course how to add years and dates and hours to years and dates. So to do that, what you need to do is to go here and do daytime, we're going to hard code 1997 as a date. So daytime, well, as a daytime, because it has to be daytime. So it is uh, 1970, and then it's year month, and then it's the, no, sorry, it's the first of the first, and then it's hours, minutes, seconds, plus, and fingers crossed that I'm doing this right. And here it says 2018-01-12. Let's see on the website if that is correct. So put it in there and it says it's January 12, 2019, 7 p.m. My time zone, 8 p.m. Okay, you have to take into account the time zones too. So if you see here, it says that it's 7 p.m. My time zone is plus one at the moment. So what we need to do is to the duration add plus one into the hour slot and it will add one hour to everything and that's how you adjust for your time zone. Now if you are going to have variable time zones you have to obviously account for that dynamically not like I'm doing here. Okay so this is how you do it. Now second part how do you do this in two steps because what happens here is that now we have these we have created a new column and then now we have to delete this one and rename that one. We can rename this directly. But I prefer nowadays to do things in as many, as, as little steps as possible in order to have my code more readable, especially when documenting it. You have to document it properly, otherwise you might be, you might make things more complicated. I prefer to do it like that. So how do you do it in one step? Okay, so we're going to get Power Query to help us write the code. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to transform. So we'll do the transformation on the same column, which is what we want. And then we're going to do struct. We can do anything, count length or whatever, it doesn't matter. So 
this is the code that we need. And the part that we need to change is actually this part. So we go to our previous step where we created the formula. We take this part uh, up to here. We go in here and then we're going to change this. Now, create the date, we need to change that to for each row. And then type is not going to be text, it's going to be date time. And there we have it in one step. So we can now go back and remove these. And there you have it. Now we have a created date, everything done in one step. So we transform Unix dates to um, normal dates in one step. And again, you can do this transformation step everywhere almost everywhere. I, I don't know where you cannot do it, but <laughs> there are always exceptions to any rule. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the first video of the year. I will see you again as always on Wednesday with a Power BI video. Let's see what I come up to and then I will do a DAX video on DAX Friday. So I have an idea for a series, but let's talk about it on Friday. Take care. Bye.